Thumbs up. Everyone hear me? Awesome. Okay. Great. All right. So I was a curious child. I always asked why. Mom, why does your perfume smell like coconuts? Dad, why do you place your feet differently on the ground line than other basketball players? <laughs> and my favorite question. learning about the purpose of knowledge. But once I got to middle school, I stopped asking questions. And I think this was primarily because my teachers didn't encourage my, my peers and I to ask questions. Really, we would come into class, they would give us a worksheet, they would say, sit down, complete this, turn it in, case closed. Well, when I became a teaching fellow at a program called Break the Birmingham, I didn't want to make my students just complete worksheets. I wanted to state the purpose of why they were learning what I gave them. And I wanted them to ask me why, and I wanted to encourage their curiosity. Before I go any further, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Catherine Metcalf. I am a senior. I'm um, studying English and Communication Studies, like Sarah just said. Um, and I'm graduating this May. Woo, so excited. Um, <laughs> and um, after I graduate, I'm planning on um, earning a master's degree in English, eventually, hopefully a PhD. And then I would like to teach um, either at the high school level or the college level. Okay. Has anyone um, seen The Office in here or are fans of the TV show The Office? Awesome, great. Okay, well, I'm from Springfield, Pennsylvania. So, yeah, where The Office is set. All right, awesome. Um, and unfortunately, I do not know Ray Wilson and Steve Carell, okay? But I did see them at a St. Patrick's Day parade my freshman year of high school, which, you know, fortunately, I came across on my bucket list because I. Um, and I, the show is so hilarious. If you haven't seen it, a lot of you have, which is great. And I encourage you to um, go and see it after this if you haven't seen it. Um, it's hilarious, but it also teaches us a lot about life, um, especially how hilarious life can be. Um, and speaking of teaching, I want to get into more of my program and my experience at Breakthrough Birmingham. So before I keep talking about my, my experience, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be stating some of my students' names. Um, I've actually changed some of my students' names for their privacy, um, and so I just thought I would say that before I keep going. So when I was um, in Break the Birmingham, I was a teaching fellow, and Break the Birmingham is a site that's part of this nonprofit organization called Break the and Breakthrough Collaborative really is to um, get middle and high school students engaged in learning. It's to really bridge the, um, it helps bridge the summer bridge gap. And so um, it also brings in undergraduate students to teach middle and high school students subjects like math, science, writing, and reading, topics that they wouldn't normally get in their classroom. I was assigned uh, two sections of eighth grade students, and I had to teach them how to write. Eighth grade. It was really interesting. I knew from the first day that my students were going to push me to my limits. Just imagine coming in as an eighth grade student, sitting down in a classroom, a classroom that you've been in for nine months straight, coming in, sitting down, and being in there for eight weeks. I know that if I sat there, I would be thinking to myself, what is the point? Why am I here? I want to be out playing in the sunshine. So I kept this in mind when I was creating my lessons. And with this, I thought, I really need to make these lessons purposeful, but also fun. For my first lesson, I decided to engage students in creating, um, being, obtaining evidence from different kinds of visuals. Arts from just simple pictures. And at first, I thought I would do individual tasks. I thought this would be a great way for them to learn. But really, they were bored out of their minds. And 
So I thought, okay, I went home, went back to the drawing board, and I thought, how can I make this more collaborative? How can I have them have fun and work together? With this, I thought, okay, let's make it a group activity. I think that would be fun. So when in the next day, I broke up all my students in, in groups of four, and I had them analyze these visuals. All my students really loved it. Okay, the majority of them, they got in, they were engaged. But there was one student that I really could still not get engaged. Her name was Danielle, and she came in, she always had something to say. She would ask me all these questions. Like, I wanted my students to ask me questions, and she did. She would ask me, Ms. Metcalf, what's the point of this? Or, Ms. Metcalf, can you just watch SpongeBob today? Or, my favorite, Ms. Metcalf, can I go use the restroom? She's fine, yeah. Um, so, but she had so much charisma, and she always had questions, and that really encouraged me to put her in a leadership role, because I thought, well, I want this program to be purposeful for her. I don't want her to just ask me questions and want to get out of my classroom, right? That's not what we're, why we're here as teachers. So, I gave her a leadership role. I said, you're going to be a group leader. You're going to go around, and I want you to check to see if everyone understands what they're doing. That's exactly what she did. And let's just say after that, she did not ask me if we could watch SpongeBob anymore. That was really nice. Um, and I referenced SpongeBob because I use, if you've seen SpongeBob, a lot of times he um, has essays he has to do for Mrs. Puff. And, and um, so I just thought that would be really cool, uh, you know, cartoon to give my students a little lesson to, to give them. And so where I'm going with all of this is that curiosity and purpose makes learning exciting, okay? It's really important that teachers give their students the purpose before they learn the lesson. Next, I'm going to talk about another lesson that I created myself that I think was really, well, it was my students' favorite lesson out of the whole summer. Flash forward to the end of the summer, and I taught my students how to create their own websites. Fun, right? Bringing technology. Well, my students really enjoyed it. Before, though, I asked them, why do you think I want all of you to create your own websites? What do you think the purpose of this is? And I got some pretty amusing, interesting answers for eighth graders. There was one answer, though, that stuck with me. Taylor was one of my best students. But he rarely spoke up in class. And so I really pushed him to, even if it was to give me one more answer, to give me something. And so when I called on him, he said, websites are a form of self-expression. I thought, yeah. great, okay. Can you elaborate more on this? And he said, well, if I take my topic of football, I can post pictures of myself playing football. I can talk about what, you know, some of the issues that I went through playing football and just making it fun for, for people to want to, you know, play football. And I thought, wow, this is great. You know, maybe they're coming up with that, and that's wonderful. And so a form of self-expression, that really stuck with me. Because for me, I thought of websites as being something of information, just information for everyone. And so his purposeful comment, his contribution to the lesson, made me think, you know what? I think I can add something else to this lesson. Everyone, why don't we create our own memes? Boy, do they love that. Oh my goodness. They, that was something they really enjoyed. So really, I think a common misconception about middle school students that we have is that they don't want to and from my experience, I realized that they actually do want to learn. They want to learn about why they're learning. They want to come in and they want to learn something that they will use in their lives, that is purposeful. And so this got me thinking. We really need to engage and encourage curiosity in students. And so today I talked about why curiosity and purpose is so important for those middle school students. But what about all of us, college students, professionals? Why should we question?
question or meditate on our work, on what we are learning. To me, I think thinking about the purpose of what we're doing motivates us and gives us resilience when learning gets difficult. One of my favorite quotes in education was made by Aristotle. He said, the roots of education are bitter, but the fruit is sweet. To me, the bitter roots is the motivation, but also the purpose that makes us obtain the knowledge that we need in order to succeed, in order for us to go out into the world and make a difference. And so, really, my eureka moment is when I found out at Breakthrough that I want my students to engage in curiosity and also ask why. Because asking why and getting these answers makes learning so worthwhile. It's why teachers teach. And really, the purpose drives us to get through the really tough times in education and really 